For communities trying to fight flooding. Here's a live look at Highway 123 in Carver County. It's currently closed between Watertown and Mayer. Our photographer on the scene says he's seen that water rise since he got there about an hour ago. Drivers who use Highway 123 will have to use either Highway 25 or 21 to get around. There's another area to avoid in Carver County. Highway 30 is shut down between New Germany and Leicester Prairie because of flooding. And you can see the stretch on this map right near the South Fork Crow River. I'm Sharon Yu in St. Paul, where road closures are underway and more are coming. The last time downtown St. Paul had similar road closures like this in anticipation of river flooding was back in 2019 when the river crested over 20 feet. Water Street from St. Paul's Pool and Yacht Club to the St. Paul Marina is closed right now, and Shepherd Warner from Eagle Parkway to Highway 61 will be closed starting on Sunday. St. Paul Public Works spokesperson Lisa Hebert says they're anticipating some water action starting Monday. According to the National Weather Service, by Monday we should be in a moderate flood stage in St. Paul, which is about 15 feet. Ebert says the city is expecting the river to reach 17 feet major flood stage by midweek. The closures also include the shuttering of the city's parks and trails like Raspberry Island as well as Harriet Island Pavilion. Local roads such as Jackson and Sibley leading into Shepherd Road downtown will also be open just for local traffic and will not connect to Shepherd. A lot of people like to see the high water levels and you know, just be very, very careful and cautious around around the river. And especially if there are signs that say, you know, trail closed, road closed, obey those signs. The reopening of these roads will depend on the season and how much more precipitation we'll see. Back in 2019, St. Paul reopened the closures in late May. In St. Paul, Sharon Yu, Care 11 News. We'll take a look at the Mississippi River in Red Wing. You can see the water starting to overflow its banks at Levy Park. We just checked the latest flood forecast that was updated at 9 o'clock, and it says the Mississippi will reach major flood stage there on Tuesday.